February 13, 1982 was the date Sri Lanka held his first ever one-day international in their own ground. Sinhalese Sports Club all set to start this memorable occasion. The match was set to play as a 45-over side game. Hosting team lead by Bandula Warnapura. He was the acting captain in their last official one-day international tour. Which is Cricket World Cup 1979. Since then, Sri Lanka team has not played a single game. In their last encounter along with Warnapura, Roy, Tuliab, Ranjan, and Somachandra were there in the playing 11. Anura, Lalith and Ujit already played in one days. Sri Lanka introduced a strong batting lineup. Ranjan had a good time and candy in the practice match. Sri Lanka mostly put their bets on spinners, they had strong three of them, Somachandra, Lalith and Ujit. Debutant Asantha was the only quick bowler. Roshan Jayasakara was called to keep behind the wickets. Team England made two changes from their practice match. They left out Dilly and Lever and call out Botham and Willis to the side. Overall, almost all the English batters among runs. And not like Sri Lanka, they put their odds on their quickies. But they have two good, seasoned spinners as well. Overall England is having an upper hand. Before this they have played 62 one-day internationals opposed to Sri Lanka's six matches in two World Cups. From English side one debutant. Right arm fast medium baller, Paul Allott make his first appearance in one day cricket arena. For first class he has represented Lancashire and before this one day game he represents England in test cricket. There were three new faces from Sri Lankan camp. Saidath Wedamuni, a stylish young opening batsman selected as Sri Lankan skipper's opening partner. He was a brother of veteran Sri Lankan opening batsman Sunil Wedamuni. Saidath played for SSC in first class, so he is making his first appearance in his home ground. Also he represent Ananda College as a school cricketer. Next debutant is Sri Lankan wicket-keeper Roshan Jayasakara. He was there in Sri Lankan squad in 1979 World Cup, but not got a chance to play a single game. He too a good top-order batsman as well. He is a proud product of Royal College and represent one of the oldest club in the town Tamil Union for domestic tournaments. Last of the new three is debutant opening bowler Ashantha Demel. He had a mix result last year when they visit in England. He was bit struggling in three-day games, but he showcases his capability in one-day games. SSC is his home ground too as he is their opening bowler. Also, he too from Royal College. So in order to rule this special occasion two gentlemen, Basil Anthony and Herby Felsinger will walk to the pitch. Also, these two gentlemen were the first ever Sri Lankan official umpires. Mr. Basil Anthony represents state service as a player, and he was born in 1937 in Wadala. Mr. Herby Felsinger was born in 1934 in Borella. Bandula won the coin toss. He decided to field first. Two inform English batsmen, Gooch and Cook came to the wicket. Gooch faces the first ever official delivery ball in Sri Lankan soil, which was sent for Mashantha. It would have been a memorable first delivery, but wicket-keeper Jayasakara dropped Gooch's edge over Ashantha. Gooch got a life in the first ball. After that both batted slowly and steadily. When the score was at 55, Kalyupuruma get rid of Cook as the first victim. Golden Boy Gower came next and he got himself run out for 15 when the score was 83. Botham promoted in the innings and came next to join Gooch. Once he returns to the crease run starts floating. At one stage they scored 43 off 5 overs. Both put 69 runs for the third wicket. Gooch batted for 107 balls to score his 64 runs with 8 boundaries. Apart from the first ball incident, Gooch was dropped twice and finally Ujit spins him down. Skipper Fletcher came next and Botham has continue his dashing innings with him. Botham is having a golden time since Ashes and he scored dashing 60 runs in 51 balls with 7 boundaries and 2 massive success. Finally, Demel bowled him out when the score 191. English innings starts collapse after Botham's depart. With another 20 runs they lose all their wickets. Debutant Ashantha Demel did the main damage by grabbing 4 wickets. This is the first time a Sri Lankan bowler breaks 4 wickets. So he breaks the record of Somachandra De Silva's 3 for 29 against India. Sri Lanka came to bat. They had to score 212 runs in their 45 overs. That is 4.71 runs per over. Bit of a challenge in front of seasoned bowlers. Debutant Alot took the first break and he sent Sri Lankan skipper Bandula to pavilion for 10. Wicket-keeper Rohan joined Sidath and both bring the scoreboard till 75. 
at that moment Vice Captain Wills took Rohan's wicket. Soon after that with span of 17 runs they lost another 3 valuable wickets. So, at the score of 92 Sri Lanka lost their half of the batsmen. Runjan and Sri Lankan all-rounder Anura took control from this point onwards. They too put 68 runs for the 6th wicket maintaining more than 6 runs per over. Anura Ranasinga scored his maiden 50. He scored 51 in 41 balls with 3 boundaries and a 6. He gave a brave fight with Sri Lankan tail. After a nail biter they lost the game by just 5 runs. It was not a bad start at all for inexperienced Sri Lankan team. Ian Botham was adjudicated as the man of the match due to his all-round performance. Valentine's Day February 14, 1982 was the date Sri Lanka held his second one-day international. Just like the first one-day international, Sinhalese Sports Club all set to start this match too. And this match too was set to play as a 45-over side game. Around 22,000 spectators came to witness the game. Captain Bandula Warnapura decided to make two changes. He decided to strengthen the batting lineup. So, brought up young left-hand batsman Arjuna Ranatunga instead of seasoned spinning campaigner Lalith Kalyupuruma. Also Mahez Gunathakala called to keep behind the wicket instead of Rohan Jayasakara. Team England made three changes. Chris Tawar make his way to playing 11 instead of John Emburi. Wicket keeping glows handed over from Jack Richards to Bob Taylor. Also, debutant of the previous match Paul Allott was replaced by left arm bowler John Lever. There were two new faces from Sri Lankan camp. Arjuna Ranatunga, a stylish youngster, a left-handed batsman who was a schoolboy and he is the 23rd Sri Lankan one-day international player. Arjuna played for SSC in first class, so he is making his first appearance in his home ground. Also he represent Ananda College as a school cricketer. Next debutant is Sri Lankan wicket-keeper Mahez Gunathilika. He was there in Sri Lankan squad in first class games and he was part of the team to England 1981. He is a proud product of St. Anthony's College Candy and represent Colombo Colts Cricket Club for domestic tournaments. Another two gentlemen, KT Francis and PW Vidanagamage made their debut one day international as umpires. Mr. KT Francis represents Railway Sports Club as a player, and he was born in 1939 in Kegali. Mr. P.W. Vidanagamage was born in 1934 in Colombo. English skipper Fletcher won the toss and he decided to field first. It was disaster's start for Sri Lanka. Botham sent both Sri Lankan captain and vice captain to the dressing room when the score was just five runs. Roy Dias came next to join in form batsman Sidath and Roy scored quick 26 runs with four boundaries and he himself hit wicket of the ball of lever. Roy was the first Sri Lankan to dismiss like in this manner. His helmet falls off onto the wicket. Then came the youngest Sri Lankan player Arjuna to the crease. He built 87 runs partnership with Sidath for the fourth wicket and with his beautiful left hand batting he scored 42 runs in 53 balls with just a single boundary. Dasher of the previous match, all-rounder Anura goes for a duck this time. And with the help of Tail Sidath able to push Sri Lanka total for 215 runs for 7 wickets in their 45 overs. In his second match he was able to score his maiden one-day international 50. He scored 86 runs not out in 109 balls with 8 boundaries. He came to the pitch as an opening batsman and played whole 45 overs in the middle. Sidath is 50 was the 8th Sri Lankan one-day 50 and he has passed Sri Lankan's highest one-day score of 67, which was scored his elder brother Sunil Wetthimuni back in 1979 against India in Manchester. In the field again, Ian Botham made a remarkable display. He took two wickets for 29 runs in his nine overs including four maiden overs. England's target was 216 runs. They had to maintain 4.80 runs in their 45 overs. Gooch and Cook came to the wicket, and they handled their bats well. Both put steady and easy 109 runs for the first wicket and laid a good foundation for English side. Cook out because of clean stump by debutant Mahez Gunathileka off Ajit Da Silva. This is the first ever stumping dismissal of a Sri Lankan wicket keeper in official one day match. Demel not let Gower to settle and sent him for six runs. Soon after Gower, England's highest scoring batsman Gooch goes, again for a stumping off the delivery of Ajit Da Silva. With this dismissal Gunathileka became the first Sri Lankan wicket keeper to take two dismissals in a single match. Man of the match of the previous game Botham goes next. Sri Lankan skipper Bandula gets his revenge this time by sending him back to the pavilion for 13 runs without a single boundary this time. 
that led skipper Fletcher to score rest of the runs with English middle and low order. At one stage English team were at a very commanding position of 206 runs for 5 wickets. They had to score just 14 runs in last 2 overs. He English batsmen, in an attempt to score quickly, lost their 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th wickets in quick succession, all of them run out, including their skipper as the 8th wicket. Which left last 2 English batsmen to score 5 runs. But 5th ball on the last over English vice captain Bob Willis gave a catch to Madhu Gala off to Mel, which gave just 3 runs victory to hosting Sri Lanka. This is their second ever one day victory, first in Sri Lanka and series squired by 1-1. Due to his great batting display side Athweta Muni was adjudicated as the man of the match. That's how the one-day international series ended. Sri Lanka team marched to Pisara Oval for their very first test match next. With one-day series Thai gave them a high boost to take the challenge and from next episode onwards let's find out what has happened in the test series.